My uh, fourth cousin by marriage was the famous jazz big band and blues singer Pearl Bailey. Pearl Bailey was uh, singing and working a lot of the same clubs around the same time as Billie Holiday. And Pearl married the world-famous percussionist and drummer and my fourth cousin, Louis Bellasane, who changed his name to Louis Belson. That being said, uh, I want to write the story about Louis and Pearl, who got married in the late 40s, maybe 1950, as a mixed couple. Louis, whose father was from Benevento, Italy, Pro Bailey, who was from the East Coast, and her uh, parents, at least grandparents, were grandparents were slaves. These two got married at the worst possible time a mixed couple could get married and stayed together 39 years until she died. She wrote her book, which I used as a resource in 1961 or 63. In said book, she told amazing fucking stories. She left nothing out in regards to the bias against them. But she said on the first fucking page, my intent in this book is to not bury anybody personally. So she didn't hold back, but she vowed to do no harm. Mm -hmm. And I'll be damned if she didn't make you feel the racism without putting on people who were alive and some were prominent assholes in entertainment, specifically Hollywood and music at the mm -hmm. time. She didn't do it. So I'm going to try to tell this story without naming names and hopefully get some good juju from it. But it's entertaining. And this is the kind of stuff you were just talking about, i.e. the word rumors start wars. Indies garbage. Indie wrestling. The difference between Premier Pro Wrestling, which is an independent pro wrestling organization, and indie. The first thing is, I'm not going to book somebody or on the same team or want my guys to perceive themselves as being on the same team just because you were trained by some jamoke that nobody knows and worked a handful of shows and actually really don't have a clue. What reason do I have to book you? What do you bring to the table? Because there's not many out there that I do book from outside. And just for whatever, for namesake, name me one person independently that is more technically sound than Matt Vine off the top of my head. Unless you're better than Matt Vine, you can teach Matt Vine or, or, or Chase Gosling or Anakin or Simsay or any of my guys something. What do you bring to the table? You understand? Know what, what do you bring to my company? What benefit do I have? But then I see this. Well, I get booked all over because i am got a Saturday open. That's not how we operate. That's how the indies operate, and that's how they get what they deserve. What is that shit about? The water rises to its own level. The water rises to its own level. I got it, didn't I? Yep. Okay. So you got these indie wars. So the first thing is I've got people hitting me up that I say to myself, why? Why would I book you? Are you even aware of our product? Where would you even fit in? Who could you possibly work with? And why? What do you bring to the table? I hate that. And maybe when you guys out there trying to get booked, figure out yourselves, and it might even push you to get better. Think about yourself. What do I have to bring there? And don't tell somebody, oh, I'm the best worker. I'm the best. Don't tell nobody. Show somebody. Don't send them your match with the five-minute fucking entrance that does the same hammered horse shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just a waste of time, energy, and it pisses me off.